Visitors have been flocking to Bournemouth Seafront uh, for over 150 years. And today we attract over 7 million visitors a year. And that contributes over £480 million to the local economy each year, sustaining about 11,000 jobs. So our seven and a half miles of coastline pulses like an artery for the local economy. We get up to 300,000 visitors a day, particularly during the air festival, thronging across the seafront. So the seafront is vital, a vital component to our tourism economy. So right now, Bournemouth is one of the UK's leading uh, coastal resorts. But if we don't continue to invest, then very quickly, things could change. So in 2013, the council adopted the seafront strategy. We developed this in conjunction with the trade and actually across uh, the whole council itself. So talking to all the uh, council departments that operate on the seafront, whether that's highways, whether it's planning, whether it's the parks team, the seafront and the tourism team, all working together to create a shared vision for the future. So the aim of the seafront strategy is nothing less than to create Britain's world-class seafront. We've already got an award-winning um, natural environment with blue flag beaches. It's time for us to tackle all the, uh, the infrastructure along the promenades, some of which is 50, 60 years old and no longer fit for purpose, meeting the needs of visitors today. So the seafront strategy basically breaks the seafront down into four key character areas, which really emphasize the strengths of each of those bits of the seafront, the, the chines, the central beach, the uh, coastal activity park, and the natural uh, coastal area running east towards Southbourne. Within that, there are over 80 different projects that we would like to be delivering over the next 15 years. The council is making a start by investing in a phase one of three key projects. And beyond that, we have aspirations to work with the private sector to deliver another seven projects over the next seven years. The first of those, we've already delivered uh, 18 new super huts down at Alum Chine. We've been working with housing landlord department to manage the actual works. We've been working with the planning department as well, and of course, tourism and PR. And we basically built 18 super huts, which we sold off plan uh, for full asking price uh, in the space of three weeks. And that's generated a, a significant capital return to the council, which we can invest in other projects. The second of those projects is all around peer approach. We're investing four million pounds in peer approach. This is the main gateway um, to the seafront for the majority of our visitors and residents. We're working really closely across the council with other departments and indeed with the uh, tourism trade to create a really vibrant uh, world-class offer. The new peer approach scheme will see the creation of uh, new landscaping, reconnecting the gardens with the seafront, also with a fantastic new water play, a new information kiosk, and also um, new lighting, some of which will be interactive, designed to encourage visitors to stay longer. But creating this new space is one thing, populating it and animating it is, is another thing entirely. And that's something we're working with tourism across the board on a whole range of events. And you can see some of the work that the council delivers on that with the Arts Festival and the Air Festival and indeed the new Wheels Festival. This year, for instance, up to 1.2 million people came down and enjoyed the, the, uh, the Air Festival. And I think it's a testament to how successful that's been is the whole range of different teams across the council that have been involved in the planning and delivery of that, from parks, from highways, to planning, to tourism. The third of our uh, projects for phase one is Southbourne. We're going to introduce an innovative new tourism offer for Southbourne's Blue Flag Beach. We're going to be introducing 15 overnight stay beach huts, each of which will accommodate short-term guests staying for a couple of nights or maybe up to a week. One of the reasons we're creating this fantastic new uh, offer at Southbourne with the overnight stay beach huts is to create a new revenue income for the council. This is quite important actually to help us sustain services not just within tourism but across the town as well, particularly in the current climate uh, with financial cuts and pressures. This is a really exciting uh, new offer and we're going to have these up and ready for people to hire from uh, the beginning of May. So beyond next year, our aspirations are to deliver another seven projects over the space of the next seven years. These will be key bits of infrastructure improvement and new leisure offers, 
and will be heavily reliant on external funding and external investors. Uh, but again, the Council as a whole will be working really hard together with our tourism trade partners to deliver this, to create new jobs and to create a halo effect to encourage the private sector to invest in the wider economy of the town, which we're already starting to see with investment in the new five-star Hilton hotels and also over here with uh, Bournemouth Pier and the investment in the new zip wire and attractions on the pier.